Hello YouTubers, Joe Kersey here on uh, Wednesday, June 14th around uh, about 4.15, 16.15 in the afternoon Eastern Time. And uh, I got my, my two new toys today. On the left you see the uh, Leica M Type 262 and I fitted uh, my uh, 50 millimeter f2 uh, Summicron lens on it uh, and then also uh, to the right I'm sorry on the right that was the camera on the right on the on the left <laughs> I, I still can't tell my left and right apart on the on the left uh, it's the uh, Tri-Omar f4 28-35-50 lens that arrived uh, today and I'm, I'm going to put that on the lens and I'll take that out and do some shooting with it here in a moment. But um, So here's the rear view. Uh, doesn't look too much different from the uh, M Type 240. Uh, it's, got, it's got a few differences. Uh, but uh, I had to work through the menus, of course, as you have to with these things. Uh, I guess uh, it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't do movies, you know. You can't do movies with this, and that's fine. Uh, it's slightly less complex. Uh, I think it saves the DNG files in uh, compressed form, because I couldn't find a setting anywhere in this menu structure to uh, just save the DNG files as raw, uncompressed files. But uh, uh, we'll see how that works out. I, I might need to update the firmware in this thing or something. Well, I thought I'd come out here on the deck and do a little test drive with this thing. It's a, it's a very compact rig. I, I was thinking this was going to be bigger uh, than, it, than it was, or it is. Um, you notice it's got a Nikon lens cap on it. That's what the guy sent it with, which is fine by me. You know, it's a very nice lens cap. Comes on and off. It's got a B&H 55 millimeter E55 filter. Uh, UV filter over the, uh, you know, to kind of protect the underlying lens. Uh, let's, I want to take a few pictures here of this tripod here as I'm doing this. Now right now I'm starting on the 50. Turn the camera on. Uh, set the ISO here. Well, I'm setting the ISO at 32, well that's 3200. I don't want that quite so much there on that. We'll go. We'll go down to 1600 on that, and then we'll set that. And then uh, there's a ring. It's got 50, 28, 35, you know, to set the focal lengths. So we'll start on the 50 here, and uh, with that you get, you actually get the uh, uh, the frame lines for. 50 and 75 millimeter lenses, you know, in the bright line viewfinder frame system of Leica. Oh wait, don't bite me there, insect. And we'll take a picture of that. Okay, that's, oh, uh, we need to definitely adjust the f-stop here. Okay, let's just do that. Yeah. That's okay. Let's try that. What are we shooting at here? Oh, well, actually, let's do it a little faster here. We don't have to be quite so so still here. Do we? Well, I don't know. Let's 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 do that to 60. Uh, yeah, Joe ain't as steady as he used to be. And. Um, now let's let's go to 20. Let's go to 35. You know, click that over to 35. 
And it, what's nice is you don't have to adjust the focus uh, between, uh, you know, it's, I mean, the, when you have it focused, you can switch between focal lengths and it's still in focus. Uh, so let's do that here. And then uh, with the 35, you get uh, the frame lines for 35 and 135 lenses. And then let's go back here. Uh, the, the 50 to 28 shift works the easiest. I have a feeling that's the guy switched back and forth between those two focal lengths the most often. Uh, now with the 28 setting on this, you don't get the 28 and 90 frame lines. You get the 50 and 75 frame lines again. But, you know, essentially, uh, if you use the viewfinder window as kind of like the 28 frame, you're, you're going to get your shot. So let's, uh, let's do that here. All right. Even though I have that camera parallel, it sure looks crooked. <laughs> That's the way it goes. So I'm happy with this. Uh, it's clearly a specialty piece of equipment. Uh, yeah, I can't, I can't write. I am pleased here, you know, doing the review here on the back, you know, that's a little overexposed. Those are fine. Yeah, yeah. So, that was a, a gamble that paid off. It's initially, it's a 52 millimeter lens cap. But it works works great on this thing. So uh, otherwise, today I sort of was holding myself in readiness to receive these two items, um, and uh, it's looked like it's acting like it's going to rain all day, you know, off and on all day, and we've had stuff coming in from the west, but none of it's reached us. So that's fine, I guess. Ask your local farmer how he might feel about that at this stage of the game, given the late planting season and so forth. Okay, bye-bye, YouTubers.